Hey, so I get a lot of emails asking, how do I start? Where do I start? Uh, my hydroponic farm. And I have three quick tips. First one, pray about it. Second one, travel. Just go learn from other growers and just, just absorb, just drink it in. You know, companies marketing to you, you're not gonna learn the same as just boots on the ground learning. You're gonna see what crops you wanna grow, what systems work best, what customers want what products, different ways of doing things. It's just an absolute gold mine of knowledge, just calling up these farms and going and visiting. I have a 10X rule and so far, so far it's been true. If I spend say $400 on a plane ticket, go somewhere, spend a couple days with the grower in, in one month, I will save myself $4,000 or make $4,000 or a combination, you know, of the two. So I'm a huge fan of just going and seeing. It's just, it's, it's not free, but it is absolutely fantastic. So do as much of that as you can. There's just so much to learn. I can't even start on, on ev all the nuances that you will pick up on if you go and visit. And then the third thing would be like sales channels, where you're gonna sell to. So see what you have in your, in your local area. And then that will determine, you know, what you want to grow and that might determine decisions further upstream. So we like mid-sized locally owned grocery stores like a co-op. That is just, that's premium, okay? Um, second, you would have like your bulk customers, so schools and restaurants. The margins just aren't as good. Profit per square foot per week isn't as good. We'll get to that in a minute. And then the, you know, the bottom, in my opinion, is farmer's markets. We don't do farmer's markets for various reasons. But, so pray, travel, you know, learn as much as you can. Then the sales channels. So these are all gonna be just deciding what you wanna do, how you wanna lay out your farm, your packing layout, you know, whatever. Uh, just get a good design in your head because, you know, it's like a river. It's tiny at the beginning. When you're starting to build your farm, when you're designing it, you can make changes very easily. Just like the little stream, you know, you can divert it with your foot. But as you go, as the river grows, as you make decisions, it becomes almost immovable down at the bottom. So the design phase is very important and, and you're, gonna, you're gonna get inspired by, by traveling. And then I wanna throw this in right at the end, but profit per square foot per week or per meter per week is the name of the game and it doesn't need to be complicated. Here's how I do it. Very, very simple. I take Let's, let's take basil, for example. This, this pound of basil, how much do I sell it for? $15 a pound. Okay, how many square feet did it take me to sell, to grow that pound? How many weeks did it take me? And then what is my packaging cost and what's my labor cost? And keep in mind, this is not my, my, like my gross profit. It's just a number. And then I can take that, same thing, a pound of lettuce. How much does that cost? Okay, so now you have profit per square foot per week, very rough number, and you can compare that. So that will also help you help you decide like, oh, everybody eats lettuce. I need to grow only lettuce because, you know, whatever. But the margins are gonna be a lot lower than say basil. So keep that in mind as well as you're deciding your greenhouse and good luck. And definitely feel free to reach out. I, I, I want to impart the knowledge that I can. I want to make uh, useful content. Thank you. Thanks for watching. You can find more great resources and awesome products over at greenease.us.